Hello Valheimers, I'm Nub Queen. Welcome back to Valheim. In this video, I'm going to show you all the physical weapons that was introduced in the Mislands update, starting with the Hemin Elfel. Elfel? Elfel. <laughs> Hemin Elfel. The required material is on the screen right now. This weapon has elemental attack of lightning. This item is considered a polearm. Other than their regular three stabs attacks, it has a main attack just like the other pole arms that has the swish attack, I call it. Just like swish everybody in a circle. The next one is the Juton Bane. It's considered an axe and the crafting material is also showing on the screen for you guys. It has poison damage. Every chop that we do will deal poison damage. To me, this weapon is not as strong as it should be. Even with the poison damage, it feels not strong. Oh, I can't believe I just... Oh, I was not paying attention. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And this time I have brought reinforcement. Okay, no, defenses. Carapace shield. This is the newest shield in the game and it just block stuff. I don't know what else to say about it. Then the next one we have is the Mist Walker. This is my favorite weapon at the moment because first of all, it look cool. Plus it has frozen damage because I like to slow things down so I can have some breather time. Other than the usual three slash combo, the secondary attack of this weapon is thrust. Now, this is a cool new weapon called Chrome. And this is the first two-handed weapon in the game. It has a primary attack with the swishing three-hit attack combo. And it also has a secondary attack that's like a thrust stabbing uh, damage. The only downside is because this sword is very big. So it does act a lot slower than the other one-handed weapons. But once you get used to it and you know how to time it, it can be a really good weapon to use. Then we have Carapace Spear, the fifth spear in the game, I believe. This also have a primary attack, is the melee attack that's like stabbing, and the secondary attack, just like the other spears, you can throw them, and it deals 1.5 more damage than stabbing. Um, but the thing is, you always have to go pick it up, and sometimes it's just not a good situation that you have to run into the crowd that you are trying to attack and pick up the spear. So I don't actually know anybody that used the, the spears as their main weapon, but might be fun for like a, a shooting game or some, some sort, I guess. This next weapon, when I saw it, I was like, I need to use this. Skull and Hattie. This is a dual wielder knife that we have. As you can imagine, the people that will use these weapons are like assassin type of a personality. The primary attack is very fast, three combo attack, but the secondary attack is like the coolest pose of this whole game. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. And it deals pretty good damage too. Now the Demolisher. Listen to the name and look at the screen. How ginormous this hammer is. Looks so amazing. I love it. Um, this is a two-handed club and it has no secondary attack, unfortunately. But the regular attack of this thing is amazing. It slams on the ground and it deals AOE damage. So whatever that's within the range of the hit will get hurt. This hammer is such a good design because it's so beautiful. It looks powerful and it is powerful. With the Miss Lens update, we have a new bow called Spine Snap. This is a more powerful bow than the Dragor Fane, but it does not have poison damage. 
but as you can imagine, if we're going to the Miss Lance, we for sure need the best bowl we've got. And the spine snap is the one we're looking for. If we're not considering the next crossbow that we're going to talk about. With the bow, we also have a new arrows to pair with the spine snap. And that's the carapace arrow, but nothing special about it. It's just a stronger arrow compared to the needle arrow that we have. And moving on. Now the first crossbow of the game, Arblast. It's a very strong crossbow. It deals 200 damage each shot. And the knockback of the enemy is always great and it staggers them a lot. To pair with the Arblast, we have four different bolts to pair with it. The crossbow does not use regular arrows, it uses bolts. We have bone bolts, iron bolt, black metal bolt, and lastly, carapace bolt. So depending on where are we going and how much material we have, we can pick and choose the bolts that we like to use. Look at this carapace buckler, it's so cute. But that's it, cute. I don't think it's a uh, very uh, too useful. I don't know. And that's 11 weapons and shields that came with the Miss Lens update. Which one is your favorite combo? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know and try them out. Thank you for watching this video. Come back for more Valheim videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.